So, on full 3D error, it doesn't even tell me what happened. Now, that's not a helpful error message. Hello, and welcome to How Do I UV That, where I show you how to UV uh, subscribers' models. So, for this episode, I got the following uh, chameleon, it looks like. Looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and UV a quadruped, basically. Um, so let's see. Now the topology is pretty good, I think, for the most part. So what I'm going to do is open the UV window, and I'm just going to reset the UVs by applying just a planar map on the whole thing. I usually like to enable texture borders so that I can see where my UV cuts are. Then we can start to cut our uh, model into pieces. So, let's see, we can probably start by breaking it up, breaking up the arms. I'm going to cut by the arms here. Do the same thing on the other side. Actually, let me enable um, symmetry. So let's do that. Okay, so now it should be. Okay, so now cut. That way we don't have to do it in both sides. So basically what we want to do is we want to separate it because um, if we leave the arms attached to the body, it's probably going to create some distortion as far as the, um, as the UVs go. So, and honestly, this is based on experience mostly. Um, so the, mo the more you do UVs, the more, um, the easier it will become to know like where you should be cutting stuff. So I'll probably cut the eyes out as well. Oops. And here, this is going to be almost a cylindrical map, so I'm going to cut it all the way to the middle like that. So you'll see when I unfold it, it's going to be like a straight, um, almost like a cylindrical shape. So that's that. Let's see. Let me think about the ears. We might need to separate those. Hmm. Let's see, let's separate this to the uh, inside of the mouth as well. Probably here. No, let's do it right there. Okay, it looks like it has an interior in the mouth. Let's see. That might get it a little complex, so we might have to cut stuff in there. Let's leave it for now, we'll, we'll come back to it later. See, the tail is fine. Um, so now we have to decide, do we want to cut this guy, uh, this model, in the middle? Obviously some of the um, issues that can arise from doing that is that if you're using a, if you're going to be using a low polygon texture, like a small size texture, you might see the seam might become more uh, noticeable so you have to decide whether or not you want that or or not and if you don't I probably cut it here so that we have the top as one piece and the bottom so our seam is going to be under this area so maybe we're not going to be seeing that too much so I'm going to try that, let's cut it there and then the tail that sounds good. But if I'm going to do that, that means I'm going to have to cut out the ears because the planar map at the top is not gonna it's gonna cause a lot of distortion on the ears. I'm gonna have to cut these guys out. Probably there. And then for the ears I'll Probably do we cut all the way up to maybe there. Well, let's finish up the arms. I'm gonna have my seam 
under so that mm, let's see maybe here instead and now we have to decide if we're going to keep the um, the toes as part of one UV shell or not in this case I'm going to let's see going to probably separate them like that and then I'm going to Cut them in the middle, like so. We have to do the same with the back. So let's decide on where we're cutting our seam here. Let's use that area right there, and then. Probably cut it here. And there. So I, I think I, I have enough cuts that I can select all my UVs. And do an unfold. Let me open the UV toolkit. In the unfold, just click on unfold. And then just wait for it. Okay, so I got an error when I tried to unfold the whole thing. So I'm going to do it in separate pieces, maybe. That's going to help. It's kind of weird. That I would get an error for that stuff. Let's try the body to unfold. That's kind of weird. I have to do this one by one. It's not what I was expecting. Oh, this one's giving me the error. The bottom part. It's weird. So I'll come back to that later. Let's do unfold. Uh, let's see. Let me select all these again. Just make sure I'm not missing any. I think I got them all except for the bottom. For some reason I'm getting an error. So unfold 3D error. It doesn't even tell me what happened. Let's see. Okay, that's strange. Yeah, that's not a helpful error message. Let's see, maybe modify. Let's try this unfold maybe. Okay. It's not working. Let's go to faces. Let's isolate this just to see what's going on here. Yeah, it's, this is strange. I mean, I'm not seeing anything here that would cause problems when we do the unfold. Let me try a, a planar map on that. And that piece. Maybe now we can unfold it. Okay, still not letting us. Oh, whoops. So what I'm going to try is, let's see. I'm going to go to mesh, clean up. Let's see if shows anything here. Uh, it's non manifold. Let's apply. Okay, something something with this piece right here. Or maybe it's because we have an end gun. Well, that's unfortunate. So let's clean that up.
And there's something with the key. Hmm. Not sure what it's trying to tell me here. Maybe there's an end gun in here somewhere. I'm not seeing it right off the bat. So I'm going to try that. Let's see. Okay, so that's good. So what I did is I just went to vertex mode, selected all those, and then I did a merge vertices. Um, so it basically merges any vertice that's really close, vertices that are really close to each other. So maybe there was like an overlapping vertex somewhere that was causing an end gun. So let's see. Now it should work, I think. So if I go to unfold it now, yeah, it works. Awesome. So sometimes you're gonna find problems like that. It's rather strange because usually in the in past versions of Maya you don't get a the unfold tool works even if you're uh, doing it in with uh, models that have end guns. So okay, let's see. So everything here for the most part looks pretty good. I'll click on here just to see this shaded mode. Okay. Oh, oops, what's going on here? I mean, disable symmetry is messing me up here. Something happened with this. I'm going to go to face and I'm going to play a map it. And let's see what's going on here. Oh I think when I did the UV cuts they didn't go they didn't do it. Maybe it wasn't completely symmetrical it seems. So now we can try that and unfold it. There we go. Looks good. Okay, so we have... Everything looks good as far as I can see. Even the interior of the mouth, I think it looks fine. I'm going to click here just to see the... Uh, any distortion. Distortion-wise, for the most part, I think it looks pretty good. But this is the interior one that I said it was going to be almost like a cylindrical map. Which it kind of is. So, yeah, for the most part, this is how we do it. Maybe you can sew some uh, pieces back. One thing I always like to do is I like to rotate these so that they are straight or as straight as possible. So that when you pack them, it's a lot easier. It also, it also helps with uh, your UVs being straight. Okay, so now I'm going to select all of these and go to, let's see, it's under, I think it's Modify Layout. Let's click on the Options box. I like to use Legacy. Uh, set this to world and scale make sure it's uniform and just lay out your UVs close this oh, this doesn't look that great so you because you have a you know you have that huge space in there so you will probably have to pack this a lot better make sure that it's using the UV space more appropriately You know, you have to scale this. I will probably move some of these in here and then scale it again. You could potentially cut the tail just to make an increase the size, just to make sure that you're using as much space as possible inside this uh, quadrant right here because you don't want to be wasting space. Anyways. So anyways, yeah, that's how we would do a model like this, that's how we view it, so hopefully you guys uh, learned something from this, 
So if you want to send your model, just check the link in the description and you can send one. And I might do a video on it. Did you like the finished model? Do you want to learn how I made this stylized material I always use in all my models? Check the link in the description below to learn how to make it from scratch with my step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make a stylized material within Substance Painter.